today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello, everybody, Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy over Ray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is Wednesday. It is February 8th. How's everyone doing? There are so there is a big surprise, guys, that is coming soon. Okay, I'm very excited about this, so just stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, girl, just subscribe because the the tea and the surprises are coming. All right, guys, so it is time to talk about the Real Housewife Ultimate Girls Trip and everything that is going on with this Brandy Caroline situation. I'm trying to keep you as updated as I can. I'm receiving so much information. But now we need to talk because Brandy Glam will break her silence. Okay? And we definitely need to talk about it, but let's talk about this mess. Let's talk about this mess. Okay, girl. So, Yesterday was the last part, you know, um, there were page six was saying that Caroline, that Brandy Glanville touched Caroline Manso on her no-no songs. OK, uh, that there was grabbing and touching and popping and like the whole thing, you know, so everyone is very upset. And the whole thing is now getting out of control. How are we moving from an unwanted kiss? from an, a, a peck on the cheek to grabbing and touching and, and, and doing all of these things. Now, if you, I mean, you have to watch my last video if you haven't, because again, I'm saying, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying the same. You know that I am not Team Brandy, but I also not Team Caroline. And something is not adding up. Like on this situation, there is something that is just not making sense. And after what we was report, yesterday there is there is there are more holes on the story than answers you know so if people will really look beyond the headlines you will realize that there is a lot of more information that we need to discuss there is already a whole lot of people hating on brandy glambio and like i said if this is end up being truth and brandy glambio did these things of course, she needs to be super fire. Of course, we need to never see her again because like we don't need people uh, doing these kind of things uh, unless it's being consensual, you know, and especially on our TVs and especially on these shows. Like what kind of image are you putting out there? So if this is true, like Brandy needs to definitely go away. However, however, again, there are too many holes on this story. So, um... Let's let's kind of like talk on uh, on this last uh, page six uh, report uh, before moving on into what Brandy said because uh, page six basically said that the the ladies were drinking you know that then uh, the whole kiss thing happened but then after that for some reason Brandy Caroline. Alex McCore and a four housewife that we don't know the name yet, the, all of them went to the bathroom at the same time and all of them locked themselves inside of the bathroom at the same time. Okay? So we have that. Now, apparently there are no cameras in the bathroom and the whole grabbing and touching incident happened inside of the bathroom. Again, we're having a Bolo situation and Lisa Rena Kathy Hilton situation. Oh, there were no cameras. So no one knows. It's just like she says, she said, you know, and that becomes very dangerous because the only thing that they had is the mics. The mics were on. And that is what the whole investigation that Peacock is launching is going around just hearing those those uh, recordings and see if they can find something. Now they did say that they found some things that were not good on the recordings, you know. Now, but that that was the the whole statement, you know, like that the, they're still investigating the, the, what happened because inside of the bathroom was still Alex McCor and the other housewife. 
So are you telling me that according to page six, Brandy Glanville pushed Caroline against the wall, put put her hands like like this, you know, and then put and then kiss her and grab her and touch her everywhere. You know, and Alex and the other housewife were like, yay, oh my God, this is so good, you know? And then eventually Alex was like, hmm, I think she feels uncomfortable. I'm going to open the door now. You know what I mean? It kind of like, honestly, doesn't make sense. We need to really get a, a little bit more in this. Now, let's move into Brandy Glanville because Brandy Glanville came today, I'm sorry, yesterday, and she break her silence a little bit. I think, of course, this is getting out of control. Of course, now we are talking about major sexual harassment. Okay, it was bad when it was an unwanted kiss. Now imagine people saying that you grab and touch and put your hands in no-no places, you know? Like, this is this is really not good. Well, Brandy Glanville, in a response to the Page Six article, she said, check your sources, people, BS, I mean, a, 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 a shed emoji, you know? So calling the whole thing bullshit. Um... Okay, this is not the response that we need right now. I'm thinking, I'm guessing, because I know a lot of people are like, why don't you just talk? Why don't you speak? I'm guessing that there are legal situations in place, and I feel that maybe she cannot say too much until the investigation is actually over. But I'm guessing this was just too much. You know, I think this was just what, like, like, oh my God, like people are literally saying that, that she raped Caroline, basically, you know? And I don't think she's down with this. Again, I think we should wait a little bit longer. I think we need more proofs. I think we need more, and, and we need to hear from Alex McCor. We need to hear from the other housewife. We need to hear the recordings. We need to know what really went down before doing an allegation like this. Because all one thing that it's really um, interesting is like all the articles coming exclusively from page six are coming from a source close to Caroline. So it's from that side and nothing has been said from the other side. So you know what I mean? I think I think there is something here and people are calling out Brandy Glanville out of hate. You know, like they hate her in general. So they're like, yes, fire her. Yes, you know, and we need to, I mean, these are serious allegations. This could literally end up her career forever like she will have to work minimum wage after this you know what i mean so i'm thinking like like we need more information we need to know what really happened on ultimate girl Street season four if we ever get season three because honestly at this point it's, it's just ridiculous that we haven't get anything from season three so anyways that's it. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to keep knowing everything that is happening on this Brandy Caroline situation or any tea from the Real Housewife franchise or the Bravo shows or the pop culture streets, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any video. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.